One of our favorite oh, old books. That old we've, book. We've yes. read this before. <laughs> Where the wild things are. Oh, imagine forgetting that. Murray book. Sendak. That was The Friendly Giant more than 30 years ago, and that book he was looking at is treasured by children and their parents to this day. Where the Wild Things Are was considered groundbreaking when it was written back in 1963, both for its wild and disobedient main character, Max, and for its dark, almost fearsome imagery. Today, the author and illustrator of the story died. As Eli Glasner tells us, Maurice Sendak was a man as unique as the characters he created. His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. When Maurice Sendak broke into the world of children's books, he was a bit unruly himself. The drawing-obsessed child had a harsh life growing up in Brooklyn. He was sickly and said his mother never showed him a smile. Something Sendak alluded to in this CBC report on Grimm's fairy tales from 1984. How come there seem to be so many uh, mean mummies in fairy tales? Well, because there are mean mummies in life. Yet Sendak took his troubles and turned them into the beasts of where the wild things are. At 32, he created a story about a bad boy who escapes to romp with monsters. Not your typical children's book, but Sendak never worried about his audience, as he explained in this documentary. I don't believe in childhood. I don't believe that it's demarcation. Well, you must have told them that. Oh, you must have told them that. The radical idea of treating children as equals influenced generations of artists. I think it's a bit scary, and kids love scary, but it's also very heartwarming. This award-winning illustrator admired Sendak's skill and his voice. He had such sophistication and subtlety in his drawings that I didn't feel like I was being talked down to in, in a visual way at that age. Whether it was his early sweet illustrations for Little Bear or his later controversial book, The Night Kitchen, Sendak kept changing the way we looked at kids' books. You want to wake you up, but I really want to show you something. Then in 2009, director Spike Jones convinced the reclusive author to bring Where the Wild Things Are to the big screen. Like the book, the movie was dark, wild, and woolly. Sendak loved it. Maurice Sendak died at the age of 83 after a recent stroke, just five years after the death of his partner of 15 years, Eugene Glenn. But Sendak never stopped working. You're doing the one thing you want to do, and you do it well, and you know you do it well, and uh, you're happy. Turning a dark, difficult life into dark but beautiful stories. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.